guys, my name is Michael Botchard, host of The Garage here on WAI.com, and this here is The Hairs. We're gonna rock out for you. Let's do it. Parasite, little parasite, well, I've got you in my bowels. Hurt so bad, you little parasite, you make me wince each time you howl. rocking out in the garage today and we got their piano player Harvey introduce me to the band uh, well at the end there we got uh, mr. Ricky playing the uh, stand-up drums we got a uh, wayward Walter Sandoval on the trumpet we got the uh, Chiasaurus Rex himself Mike Chia on the slide trombone we got the uh, Richie Brown rodeo clown on the upright bass and mr. buddy Parlin here pulling double duty as a uh, left-handed guitar player and uh, vocalist all right, so at the end here, we got Ricky from Mariachi's de Enfierno, right? Did I say it right? MDI is what I call them, yeah. Okay. Uh, Mike Chia here, he plays uh, drums in Sans Faith. What other bands are represented here? Uh, the Ghost Stories and the Sewer Surfers, old uh, buddy used to play in. Um, these two guys are from Coxcomb, from a long time. For you old timers out there who remember the old Coxcomb days. All together, we got the Hairs, this new band, this brainchild of Harvey. Tell me about how the band started. Well, I wouldn't call it my brainchild. We all played an equal part in this. Uh, buddy and I had been, uh, we've been kind of jamming for a while and, you know, uh, just having drinks and making some music and then Richie and Kevin started playing together and then independently of that, Richie and I had started playing so we were just like, well, let's just throw it all in together and start something. You know, we all kind of came from the same reference points in punk and uh, psychobilly and rockabilly and punkabilly and all the other kind of billies you can picture. <laughs> and then we got um, we got Ricky joined the band in about January and we've been we've been playing since then. And uh, you know I've known Wally and Mike for years and I was just like, hey, what's up with those horns? And so we got the horns and we've been hitting it full. Um, right now it's a half and half set, but but I mean the horns are by far the highlight of the show. All our friends really like it and that's most important because they come from the same sort of places that we do and they, they're just they're really you know really very enthusiastic you know we always have a really good response at any show we play. Talk about you know all the different influences in the band. When we started the idea of switching vocals we listened to a lot of the band, a lot of rock pile, uh, the blasters, things like that. Why do the horns? Well why not? I mean we 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 really, really, really feel like like the whole, this, just the overall kind of vibe of the band, the sound has kind of been elevated. There's some songs that just, they don't work unless they have those horns on them. They were, they were just, they just weren't coming together. They weren't necessarily bad songs, but like the second that we put that brass on there, it, it was a whole different ballgame. Well, let's talk to the horn players about the horns. Now, Mr. Chia, 
you, you play in a metal band, but you're playing horns. Talk about what it's like to play horns as opposed to metal. Well, I've been playing horn a lot longer than I've been playing drums, actually, so uh, I guess it's been about 22 years now I've been playing the trombone. So, Really, for me, this band is a lot different than what I'm used to doing. On the horn, I'm usually doing something that's been influenced by reggae or ska music or that whole Jamaican vibe in general. For me, it was just an opportunity to kind of take the little free time I did have and continue jamming, you know, and I like the way it sounds, guys. It's Tell us about that first song uh, y'all played. What was it called? Uh, Parasite was the first one that we played. Right. Um, that that's actually it just wasn't coming together, and uh, it wasn't until we were gonna. I I wanted to kind of scrap it, but you know after a while we started kind of once the horns got involved, you know after that it really took off, and I I think it's actually one of our best songs now. It's one of the highlights definitely whenever we play. People seem to really like that one. Okay, and uh, this next song that's coming up, uh, what's it called? Uh, Dead Men Tell No Tales. That's uh, buddy wrote that one, and uh, that's you know that's it's it's more fierce. It's definitely a lot more uh, aggressive, and you know that's that's what we close our set with. It's very you know it's it it leaves people on a really kind of like just I don't know they feel rocked out once it's done. <laughs> you know, I certainly do. I, I don't know. I shame on me for speaking for other people, but I think the general <laughs> consensus is that. That's a, that's a crowd pleaser. Well, we definitely like to rock out here in the garage. If someone wants to uh, catch the hairs live, when's the next gig? Uh, we're playing this Friday, October the 5th at High Tones. We're playing with Slick Dickens, Knockin' Chucks, Someone Loved. And uh, after that, we're playing the uh, Corn Lovers Fest up in Austin on the 13th, Saturday the 13th. So that's going to be, that'll be interesting. We'll see. We've never played an out of a town show before, so... Or in a cornfield either. I mean, I mean, I like corn. I eat it. Yeah, you know, it, so. Well, uh, we're not going to be corny. We're just going to rock out here with the hairs. Check it out. Yeah. 